Hey guys, Heath here with Old Man Stick Bows, and I'm going to tell you in this episode of Outdoor Talks with the Old Man, we're going to talk about my saddle hunting setup, how I get up and down the tree, how I traditional archery hunt from it, and maybe get some shots from it to show you how I maneuver around the tree. I'm also going to show you all the equipment that I have, and so take you step by step through this process that I go through. Make sure that you go on YouTube and subscribe to Old Man Stick Bow's adventures to follow along with some of the adventures that I'm going on with my daughter HB as we build bows and turkey hunt, deer hunt, bear hunt, whatever we do. And so make sure and get ready and watch this next little clip of how I go up a tree and hunt whitetails. Okay guys, the first key piece of equipment for me to use, and I've, I've hunted different saddles over the years, but this one has been my go-to the last three years, and this is Latitudes, or two years I think, Latitudes two panel uh, saddle, no buckles. Everything is uh, done with um, uh, friction knots, no buckles, nothing metal on this joker, and uh, very quiet, light. The two panel part of it, it goes, I've got one of the older ones, not one of the magnetic ones, and thank goodness because the magnets tend to come off. But I can drop this and create my seat uh, support. So that is, that is a part. On my saddle, I have a drop pouch. I have a pouch for my rope, and I'm gonna show you a little bit what's in my, my pouch. I'll get this out here. I have an eight millimeter rock climbing rope. And on the rock climbing rope, I have a carabiner that's rated for this. And I also have this. This is a Mad Rock safeguard, not the lifeguard, the safeguard. And I run it through there and I'll show you here just in a minute how this all works. But this, I put around my neck on the back of me, I have a pouch in here, and this pouch we'll use later after I'm up on the tree. So, you have to say, what do you do first to climb? Well, that is where the next piece of equipment comes in. Okay, the next piece of equipment, this is a build that I did myself, and this is a one inch square tubing with some um, steps and tree grips that I got from Eastern Wood Outdoors and a simple little gear tie thing. Um, made my own two-step aider that I'll show you how this works in a little bit. And also a marine um, uh, clamp here that I put on there. I'm just, it's blank what it is right now, but anyways. Uh, a cleat, a cam cleat. And I'll show you how that is. First thing when I do when I get up to a tree, this is what I do. I walk up to the tree and about the height of the height of my forehead or so, I grab and put it right there. I oh yeah, wrap it across, cinch it in that cam cleat real good, and pull down. And then it also one one key thing is looping the rope over top of the top step so you can grab it later but this is ready to go i'm ready to climb at this point right now i have a two-step aider i have it cinched down i have this around my neck and away we go up the tree so with my backpack on the ground um, i have it tied off to my pull-up rope i also have uh, my bow tied up to my pull-up rope and I'm ready to go up the tree. The very first, very first thing that I do is this right here. You have to put your foot, which I always put my left foot, into the tree. In that step, toe into the tree. That is very important. You gotta stick that joker right in the tree and away we go up the tree. 
And remember, I haven't done this since December the 20th. This is my first time. So hopefully I can remember all the safety stuff. That is true, safety is a key. I am now, as you can see, up the tree. At this point, at this point, I'm ready to tie off with my rope. And I have about a 30 foot section of rope. I put this up. I have a quick link right here. There's a quick link that I slip my rope into. Cinch her down, bringing this down to my bridge. Always make sure you lock your bridge. And now, I am sitting in my tree. I am ready to continue the second step of the climb. I'm locked in here, got my safeguard ready. My quick link is connected and fastened, and I'm ready to make the second jump up the tree. And this is how I make the second jump up the tree. Okay, now I'm ready for step two to continue on up the tree. Now, I'm not wearing knee pads today. Normally I do wear knee pads that I can, you can get at the local hardware store, but um, today I'm not wearing knee pads. So this'll take these old knees, um, give them a workout. Here's what I do. I swing off to the right side of the tree and kind of lock my knees in. I reach down and I pull up, I pull up, grab my rope, and take off the stick all by itself. I then can position myself again. I lock the, stand, the stick in and oh yeah. I lock it in, pull down on it, and that locks it in. And from this point, I once again do what I did to start with. I stick my toe in the tree. I go up and slide. right there I am now I can do this three times and I can get 16 feet but I do know one thing what I do when I get up here is I have a little gear tie and I wrap that off I don't know if you can get a shot of that HP but it keeps that Joker from slipping right there see that now I'm gonna get down to the lower level to show you what it looks like whenever I'm up on the platform, but I usually run a platform or a ring of steps. And the ring of steps is what I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you how I get down and how cool this is. It's cool. Here is the neat part about how I do this, is if I'm going up, this is a slick tree, but if I'm going up a tree with limbs, I can, carry along in my pouch Latitude Outdoors uh, tether in there and I can tie off, take this off, go around the limb. And if I go, I can do that continually. It all depends on how many limbs I want to go around or how high I want to go up. But if I want to go up, up amongst the limbs, I do that. But it's very simple because the limbs, when you get down, the limbs don't mean a thing. I mean, you can come right down and I'm gonna show you the process of getting down. All I have is a simple, simple, simple paracord that I bought from Walmart. And if you think that is crazy, I've got a loop tied on it. I've got a little mini carabiner. 
tie it up here. And I just loop it in there, okay? And so that is looped in there. And I usually let my bow down with this rope, that way I don't have to get my other one down. And now I'm ready to descend down the tree. Once again, very simple process, lightweight, quiet. Now, if you notice here, the mad rock is locked in right here. There's a lever on this mad rock. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe we can show it a little bit later, but it acts as a little braking system. It acts as a little braking system. And so I can rappel down this tree. So you ready for this? This is how slick it goes. I keep a hand on the, on the tail end of it and I just slowly come down the tree. And once I get to the height where my one stick is, I loosen that up. And I normally tie it up and fasten it on my the back of my pouch, which I've got a little D-loop back here. But I'm just going to throw it down today. And I continue coming down the tree. When I get down to the end of the tree, we're here. The next step right here is how do I get my rope? From up there. It's very, very simple. First, I want to unhook my carabiner, completely take it off, completely take my Madrock safeguard off. The rest of my rope. It's in my drop pouch, I let down, I grab a hold of this paracord, come off the side, and if Haley, if you'll take a peek up there at the D-ring. By just giving it a jerk and loosening it, it comes right down. Guess what? This is, a, this is the amazing part of it. I can unhook my paracord and wrap that up, but this is the amazing part of it right here. This will pull up and around your limbs, and so it'll come right on down. It's not gonna be a, 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 a deal at all, but that right there, folks, is how I go up and down the tree. Now let's look at how, let's look at how I sit in the tree. Okay. The best part of once you get up to the height you want to get up to is you have a platform and how do you rotate around the tree. So this next part, that's what I'm going to illustrate to you how I do, okay? Um, what I have is a Bullman ring of steps. I've got like five or six steps here, fastens to a strap. These little jokers are little plastic jokers that stick right in there and you can walk around. I'm going to get up in the tree. I'm going to show you how I stand up here, how I rotate around the tree and shoot deer okay once I'm set up in the tree I'll show you what I have I film myself so I have a camera up here mounted on an arm right in front of me I usually have my backpack on this side of the tree over here because this is my weak side and then I have my bow hanger on my left side up here on the tree and behind me now the key thing about when you are saddle hunting is you can you can stand whoops you can stand and you can stand on these eastern woods, on these uh, bullmen, I mean, um, um, steps. And if you just follow along, I can go all the way around the tree. And I can go on this backside of this tree right here. Now my backpack will be here, but I keep, usually keep it low and it stays out. If I wanna get away from the tree just a little bit more, I can release, I can release the Madrock safeguard just a little bit in a very quiet manner and I can be over here on the opposite side of the tree and I can shoot right there but while you're in here you can walk around this tree and keep it keep it uh, positioned you can sit down lean back lay back put your knees against the tree once again if you're wearing knee pads 
And you can sit here, and in the mornings while it's getting daylight, or before it gets daylight, and you're, the, owl, uh, the owls are still not up, you can just rest your weary head and sleep a little bit. But um, this is how it looks in my setup. I can stand up, adjust up. I can hit this here, and go down and sit. But this is the most comfortable right here. Support your rear, your back, you can move it around and adjust it. Now the next thing is how it looks when I'm ready to shoot a deer. Okay, so whenever you position up with the saddle in your tree, usually what I do is I know generally where the deer are coming from and where they're gonna be and I position myself in that, in that area and I put myself on the back side of that tree. That way all the action is in front of me and I can stand right here behind this and use this tree as cover, okay? So, so um, HP is gonna take the camera and walk in front of me like a deer and you can see then what it looks like as I get ready to shoot the deer. As the deer is approaching, I can stay on the opposite side of the tree and get ready. And whenever that deer comes over with the cover in my background, I can wait till it gets to that point where I have a good shot, I can uh, and I aim small and hit the deer. Now, if you've watched my video of where I shot my 2022 deer on December the 20th, there was a really nice eight pointer I was wanting to shoot and he was on my weak side. And so a lot of people say, how do you shoot through your bridge, your tether, how do you do that? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. A couple ways is you can, you, if you do not have a ring of steps and you just have a platform, you can, you can get across the top of it like this here and you can lean out and do it, but that is difficult. That's why I suggest having a platform or Bullman's ring of steps. Because here's why I say, if the deer is coming in from your blind side or your weak side, not your blind side, but your weak side, you can rotate around if you see him soon enough, which you will, and you can let out your, your line just a little bit so you have a little bit of straight and you can walk around your tree, pick your bow up off of the hanger, you can come to this side of the tree and you can actually shoot the deer in behind you. Right there. Right there. Wherever you want to. Very simple. And you'll learn to be quiet on these ring of steps. These, these ring of steps are not loud. They don't scoot. They don't scrape. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. This helps me get within range of deer. Um, gets me into places where normally I couldn't go with climbers or lock-ons. Uh, it's not for everybody because not everybody wants to go through this procedure of going up a tree like this but let me just tell you it puts you right where you want to be and I found being this close to a tree at this position for some reason deer do not. I've been hunting now since 2006 with the saddle and I've been finding out that deer do not pick you off as much because of your I don't know what it is about how you st sit in a stand or using the tree for for in between you and and them but it's been unbelievable I've had deer I shot a doe back four years ago who walked under and I shot her exactly right underneath of me and I was 15 feet off the ground so it's amazing it's amazing, but that's how you do weak side shots. Um, it's kind of hard to do in a video. It's kind of hard to show you. Uh, I don't know if you live in the area where you're at, but I would for sure love to help you and help you figure out how to do this thing because you can use a rifle, you can use a compound, a crossbow, whatever you want to do in this same setup. It's very easy, um, um, but you can message me, contact me, text me, whatever. I'd for sure, if you live around here close to where I'm at, 
I'll let you try it. We'll come out on this very same tree and let you climb up and down and show you how simple it is, how light it is, and how then you will go and you will see how effective it is. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Outdoor Talks with the Old Man. I will thank you so much. Just please remember to subscribe, like it, share this with your friends, and uh, maybe this will prove that you can be successful too. I want to see you shoot big deer. I want to see you get deer in front of you close in your effective range. So keep hunting guys. Remember this, it's not how far you can shoot them, it's how close you can get them. And this right here helps you get close. See you soon or in the woods.